Hey goodies, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I am just going to take you guys through my deep conditioning routine for my sister locks. Here are the products that I happen to use. You can use any shampoo that works for you, any heat protectant, but the star of the show is the hair conditioning cream, which I use once a month to keep my locks nice, healthy, and moisturized. So this soft bonnet dryer that I use isn't necessary, but it does help the deep conditioner penetrate a lot more into your hair. This is one of the few times a month that I'll actually use heat on my hair. So keep that in mind. If you have a hooded dryer, I would definitely recommend using it. But if you don't have one, it's fine. Just keep the deep conditioner in your hair for longer. Full disclaimer, I do not recommend doing deep conditioning treatments on locks that are not mature. I've had my locks for about 10 years, which means that they're condensed enough that excess moisture will not cause my locks to unravel. And that will happen if you have relatively young locks. So make sure you're not doing this before your locks have matured. First, you're going to shampoo your hair before you even apply the deep conditioner. And when you're shampooing your hair, my number one tip is to always concentrate the shampoo at your roots and allow the water when you're washing the shampoo out to lather the rest of your hair because shampoo dries out your natural hair oils. So to avoid that happening too much, just concentrate it on your roots because that's where you have the most buildup and oil accumulation and that'll thoroughly wash all of your hair. After you're done washing your hair, towel dry it so that it's not dripping wet when you apply the deep conditioner. But the towel that I'm using is a microfiber towel. Microfiber towels won't get lint in your hair. So those are the ones I strongly suggest so that you don't have lint buildup throughout your locks. Once your hair is towel dried and damp, I usually go ahead and make my deep conditioning concoction but i call it my hair crack because girl my hair is addicted if it could make a sound whenever i apply it it's <laughs> i only say that because my hair has never been the same after i deep condition every month or so it's so moisturized so luscious easier to manage and it's soft a lot of people complain about having hard locks I never experience it, I honestly say, because of this deep conditioning method that I use. my hair crack I use a little over a cup of the cream just so that it can go through all my hair because my hair is so long but if you have shoulder length hair for example you should only need about half a cup um, and then I just drizzle in about a tablespoon or so of Jamaican black castor oil and drizzle a little bit of tea tree oil in there just to subdue the really thick scent of Jamaican black castor oil honestly you can put in olive oil and even coconut oil, argan oil, whatever oil works best for you or whatever you have that you use to moisturize your scalp, um, go ahead and throw that in there. Once you've added all your ingredients, just mix it up and the consistency for me looks something about this. You don't want it too watery. For application, I just split my hair in half and then I concentrate the conditioner from tip to root and work it in from the ends all the way up the shaft of my hair. The main reason you would want to focus your conditioner more on your ends rather than your roots is because 
the way that your hair follicles work is your scalp produces a lot of natural hair oils and those hair oils um, over time travel down the shaft of each strand of hair now when your hair is locked it doesn't acquire all of that natural hair oil as readily as people with loose natural hair which is why you hear people with locks are the ones that usually complain about having dry crunchy locks so in essence you just need to focus on moisturizing more on the ends because that's where you're getting the least amount of moisture and continue to also moisturize your roots to make sure that you have a strong healthy foundation for moisturized locks After you've saturated your hair from end to root, go ahead and start focusing some of the conditioner at your roots. After you've saturated all of your hair once, you should probably have a bit of product left over. What I do is just go ahead and run the rest of the product throughout my hair because the initial layer is probably already seeping deep into your locks. So now just get a more topical layer just to really enhance the amount of moisture that your hair is getting. And then you'll be ready to put your hair under the dryer. Once you're done putting the deep conditioner throughout your hair, you're just gonna cover your hair with a shower cap or two like me if they tend to fall off your head for no reason. <laughs> Once your hair is secured under a cap, you're going to go ahead and sit under that dryer for about 30 minutes or so and you're going to use medium heat, not high heat. You're not trying to cook your hair. The last step would be to just run water through your hair after you are done deep conditioning it and don't stop running the water through your hair until all of the deep conditioner is out of it. Okay, 
okay so that wraps up my wash day as you can see i have a towel on my head i use microfiber towels always use microfiber towels to avoid lint um that's even though this is white it's not going to do anything because the microfibers won't leave cloth residue in your hair which is what usually causes lint so be very careful about that whenever you're washing your hair and if you decide to towel dry so for me after I wash my hair and if I decide to style it with heat, which I rarely ever do, I will use a heat protectant like this one that I showed at the beginning of the video. But nonetheless, I will always, always, always moisturize once my hair is dry or close to being dry. So for my scalp, I use wild growth hair oil so far. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and I'll use that at the actual day of my wash because I feel like it's quite pungent. Some people don't like the smell of it. So just put that on your scalp because scalp health is very, very important to make sure that after you just had all that water, even though water is very, very moisturizing and the whole point of the conditioning um, routine today was to help moisturize your hair, you need to make sure you take care of your scalp too, not just the hair that's already there. Your scalp is the growing foundation for the rest of your hair and how thick and healthy your hair will be which ultimately becomes part of your locks so be cautious about how you're doing all that so i hope that was really really helpful and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that it was very very informative for you if you'd like please subscribe um, i have a ton of videos on my channel already on other types of hairstyles and i'm going to be posting a lot more so I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye.